Jill, what are you doing? Surely you can't still be deciding what to wear. They said I've got to get ready for the catwalk, something about get ready for the runway. Oh, no, Jill, you've not got to get ready for the runway. You've got to get ready for Stanway, Georgia Stanway. Oh, that's why she's here. Take it away, G. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by E.E. E. <laughs> Welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. We are just 24 hours away from the semi-final game. And look who we've got in the building. Georgia Stanway, everyone. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the amount of DMs I've had, people have been on the hashtag Lionesses Down Under, asking for Georgia. You ask, I deliver. Georgia's here and you can get in touch as well. So make sure you continue using that hashtag. Any questions, any messages of support, hashtag Lionesses Down Under is where to send them. Georgia, I'm so happy that you're back on the show. Obviously, we've seen you in Brisbane in the first place, but do you like what we've done to this place? Yeah, I like it. I like it. You've just woke me up from a nap, so I'm hoping that you'll keep me entertained. Yeah, oh. of course. What else would you expect to be in here, OK, if Georgia? I don't know you two. <laughs> I'm a napper. I'm a napper. I'm a napper. <laughs> right, well, let's talk about... Let's move on from that oh, one, OK? <laughs> Uh, that's we set the bar very well, all right? Uh, let's talk about the game. I mean, a World Cup semi-final Wednesday. How are you feeling about that? Hopefully you're as happy as this. Look at the smile on that face right there. Looking forward to it? Yeah, definitely. What more do you want? Playing in a semi-final at a World Cup. We've played so many minutes so far. Um, so, yeah, we're just super excited to get going. And Georgia, this is the shortest turnaround in terms of games. Are you someone that likes that extra day rest or do you just want to get going now? You just want to get going. We've, yeah. I feel like we've been on camp for ages, but at the same time, it's gone so fast. Yeah. So like, yeah, the shorter the time between games, the better. I can tell she's a younger player because the older ones are like, <laughs> give us the extra day rest, please, <laughs> I need it. Right, talk to me about this because obviously training, difficult, loads happening. This looks fun though, playing the ball across the line. It's yeah, you just make stuff up, I think. Yeah, I think the Lionesses have kind of made this a game now, but me and Tweeney was just bored for a few seconds and said, let's try and keep it on the line. What a finish that was, by um, the way. All right, small goals, and then this one ball comes across. Oh, oh what a turn. OK. Did you check your shoulder there? OK. Don't know. Rewind. <laughs> and look, we even get the uh, near close to bird's eye view. Of course, what is this? Oh, Georgia Stanway. What? That is a good finish. That was Cheeky. nice, wasn't it? it was. I haven't seen that one. And then <laughs> after all the uh, physical work, you've got to have the recovery as well. Jill, when me and you went, we didn't get off with the, um, no, the earmuffs, did I we? actually forgot to put the hat on and the gloves. Oh, my God. Don't forget to do it. I was like a snowman in there. Let's move on from maybe that Maybe they one. don't have earmuffs. Yeah, maybe. Big ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we saw all the physical preparation there, but... Of course, there's got to be a lot of mental preparation that goes into this. Grit and resilience are two words that have been thrown around across some of the performances so much, uh, so far, I should say. Is that something that you've been working on, that grit, that resilience? Um, I think you've always got it in you. Yeah? And I think when you get to a tournament or when you get to the moments where it matters, that's when you just kind of find it. Um, I think, yeah, we've faced everything that we could possibly face this tournament. and. <laughs> over the last months and I think that just shows how together we are as a team and the things that we've been through and we're still managing to get the results at the other end. Yeah, and also your second World Cup now, I think you might have been the youngest player in the squad for yeah. the first one. So how do you feel for you things have evolved, like what's changed? You've certainly got more tattoos. <laughs> I think that's one thing. I don't even think you were old enough to get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Um, I think it's just... Like you've got to kind of like mature almost because although I'm still a younger player, you kind of in the environment where I've been to a few major tournaments, you've kind of got to lead by example in terms of on and off the pitch. You've got to learn when to have fun, when to stay serious, get that balance. Did you ever get that balance? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm I've got that balance, <laughs> but you have to have fun. It is yeah, true. For, it's yeah, true. no, absolutely. And I think, yeah, it's just trying to like lead by example. So... Yeah, I think the best thing for me to do is lead by example on the pitch and just kind of, yeah, be that 
Uh, that oh, great. I like that. Yeah, that great. <laughs> there we are. That's what I said before. Um, and of course, Australia in that semi final. You played against them before, but that was just a friendly. We forget about that one. This one is the one that means business. What do you think we can expect from them? Do you know what? I think we have a lot of respect for them as a country. Like they're individually very, very good. And obviously, as a team, you can see how far they've come in this tournament is, yeah, unbelievable. And even the fans, I think, like, They've grown so much as a country and everybody's got the backing of that. So I think we'll expect noise. Um, yeah, and they'll be they'll be a tough opponent. But yeah, we're excited. Yeah, in my opinion, I think only England can beat England. I believe in this team so much. But what do you feel like England need to do in order to get that victory? Score. Oh, that's a good answer. There you are, yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. else? Score. <laughs> um, I think just stick to our plan. I think we've got so much belief in the way that we play and just like sticking to that and yeah being on it as an individual but also like staying connected and if it's your game then play your game if it's not your game then can you make it somebody else's yeah. now, we haven't seen you for such a long time on the show I get to see you every day smiling away <laughs> walking around base camp but how much have you actually enjoyed your time in Australia what's been the highlight for you yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I've seen more of my family here than I have in the past year, yeah. <laughs> um, which is good and bad. I've had enough of them now, so <laughs> yeah, see them when I'm back home. Um, but no, I think just the fact that it's gone so fast shows that we've had such a good time um, yeah. because sometimes when you're at a tournament, it can drag and the days between the games feel like forever and when there's no football on the TV, you don't know what to do with yourself. Um, but I think just the fact that it's gone so fast, just shows how much you've enjoyed it. And we always like a little insight. Which lionesses are you hanging around with the most in your downtime? You can't get rid you of me You can probably guess. <laughs> yeah, can't get rid of Jill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off days, she likes to come for a little meal with us. Um, obviously, Kira, yeah. Roebuck, Alex, Lotta. Yeah, whoever's available, I'll just speak to. <laughs> Uh, and I did mention we've not had you on the show for such a long time, but when you were last here, the talk of the podcast, all right, the footballing world, and I can't believe we've not asked you uh, this sooner. And shout out to Bella as well, because Bella got in touch, all right, and she reminded us, so thank you for that. How's the Tamagotchi uh, oh, going? Uh, do you know what? Oh, no. Oh, George. Did you leave it in Brisbane? No, I've still got it. Yeah. And I actually put out a tweet out a few weeks, it might have been a few weeks ago now, that I think, might have lasted two days. Do you know what? I couldn't actually figure out what the buttons were and what the Tamagotchi needed. Oh. I never had time to name it. Oh. And uh, every now and again it beeps in the night, so it's pretty annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should name a Bella after that question. Yeah. yeah. If you put your earring in the back, I think it resets, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does. Can we make the Tamagotchi come back to life? Yeah, and we can take requests for names as well. Yeah. Hashtag Lioness is down under. What should George's yeah. Tamagotchi be called? That's when it comes back to life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tried to like, look at the back because it's got like instructions and stuff, but it's not so easy to keep it alive. Get the ear I think it there. is pretty <laughs> easy. I think if it's hungry, you feed it. If you need to clean up its mess, you clean it up and then it lives. Is that all you do? Just I feed so, it and, and you play it? with it? And what's the, like, why is there like eight buttons? Um, is it eight? You, you must six have like an advanced version <laughs> or something. Mine only adds three, but I'm going back to 1970. Oh, yeah, it's got way more buttons now. Has it? Yeah. Well, speaking of great questions, Hannah Hampton really wanted to ask you one. So roll the VT and let's take a look. Hey G, my challenge for you is can you give us your best Nickelback impression? Oh! oh. oh. So you She's opened yourself dirty. up here. Yeah. <laughs> just ditched you Last time right. you were on, you told us about it. We saw some of you singing then. We wanted it live. So Nickelback, what song would you go for? Rockstar. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Do you know what? We went in the cryo today and um, me and Alessia were playing pick a song for each other. That's Alessia just... picked Nickelback. Do you want a microphone? No, I can't. Uh, nothing? We need to wait until there's a moment. We can A moment to celebrate or there's a reason for me to... Okay, Sing will it. you promise us a video okay, when, I when promise, you feel that moment? Yeah, I promise that if there's an instance where I should be singing it, it will be recorded. Right. I'm, cool. I'm going to be filming this, yeah. so I'm going to catch you off guard. You promised us. Yeah. A lioness promise. That's one of the, one of the, the morals, I promise right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. it will be video. <laughs> it will happen. All right, OK. Well, I, we're going to get that. I promise everyone <laughs> we'll hold Georgia Stanway uh, to that one. Right, well, let's move on then, because with the countdown to England's semi-final against Australia, down to just 
hours. I cannot wait for this one. We wanted to bring in someone who knows just what it takes to go against the Aussies. Uh, joining us on the line is England cricketer Lauren Bell. Thanks for joining us, Lauren. Great to have you. How's your morning going so far? It looks like the sun's shining. The sun's definitely not shining. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's raining a lot, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, no, my morning's been fine. Oh, it's the same weather that we have here, to be honest. But, Lauren, we need you to give us an inside scoop on taking on Australia, in Australia. What's it like to represent England on Australia soil? Yeah, how cool, firstly. Like, obviously, taking on the home nation at their World Cup, like, it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, when we played there, obviously the crowds have really got behind them and, they're one of the best in my, in our sport, one of the best um, team in the world. But um, yeah, I think quite a lot of the time you have to use the crowd they have to your advantage. Like they're obviously so great, but it gives you all that adrenaline and gives you the buzz. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And, so true. Well, you're just saying yeah, there, so you, you were nodding along. Is that yeah. something that you'll be hoping to do? Yeah, it's like when we played the Colombians the other day and they were singing the national anthem and you actually get so excited just to be a part of it. So, yeah. like, I completely feel that is, yeah, forget they're actually shouting for Australia and think they're shouting <laughs> for you. <laughs> and, Lauren, I mean, we all know what's at stake during the Ashes. Talk to us, though, about that rivalry between England and Australia, especially in cricket. Yeah, it obviously goes back many before I was playing cricket. But, um, yeah, no, it is really cool. And it's, yeah, the biggest tournament, the biggest competition we have in our sport. And, um, yeah, I think, obviously... In our world, Australia have got the better of us for a while. But um, this was the first year that finally we, we could fight back and put something on. And I think, obviously, ours was at home and we had the crowd behind us. But I think it's the same when, you, yeah, when you're in Australia and you have, you have the buzz and you have the adrenaline. I feel like, yeah, it is exciting. Yeah, and Georgia, we always get questions for you. And Heidi on Instagram got in touch to ask, how do you block out the noise of a home crowd? Oh, um, probably pretty similar to Lauren. I think you just kind of ignore it. Like when you're in the moment and you're too focused on like executing the pass or whatever is going yeah. on in that, you kind of block out what's outside. Um, I think it's only on moments when you hear something out of the ordinary where it might be a boo or it might be like noise at a throw Jill in. screaming. Yeah, yeah it might be chill piping up. This is why I yeah. have no voice. <laughs> yeah. I think it's only in them moments where you actually hear it and you kind of, yeah, like process the, like the noise. Yeah, and also she said, good luck for Wednesday rooting for you. Had so many messages like that, which is nice. But Lovin, what about you? Was it the same for you in terms of blocking them out? I would always think try and silence them with your performance. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more with that. I think sometimes, especially when, when you're getting into the game and when you're starting, it's good to acknowledge and it's good to feel the, what's going on. I think it's... Only so many times that you get to play or in George's place at a World Cup or in an Ashes series. So I feel like taking it in and like realising what you're doing is pretty cool. And then, yeah, once you get down to the skills, it's trying to... Well, silencing them is the best way through your performance for sure. And I think it's just trying to ignore them, trying to stay focused on what we're here to do. But yeah, I feel like I always have that sense of acknowledgement, especially to start with, because... Um, yeah, it's always pretty cool. And you never know how many times you might play in front of a, yeah, in front of a full crowd. And Lauren, I mean, you recently drew the Ashes series this summer. Record crowds, you were playing in bigger stadiums as well. Does it make you proud to see just how much the women's game is growing in cricket? Yeah, it's really cool. Obviously, this it was my first Ashes series. A lot of the girls have played so many, but it was by far the biggest. And the fact it went um, along with the men's as well and kind of like we went the same as them and the crowds are the same. Yeah, it was really cool. And it was the... Yeah, one of the first times I felt like the nation was really behind us and like, yeah, it's, it was it was a really cool series and um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Hopefully it just gets better and better. For sure. And, yeah. Mm. And Lauren, Georgia loves to run back to the Lionesses and tell her what she's been up to on Lionesses <laughs> Down Under. It really is the highlight of her World Cup. <laughs> so do you have a message that she can send to the Lionesses? I would just say good luck to you and obviously Millie Bright and the rest of the team and we'll all be watching we've we, we, you had your um quarterfinal the same day as one of our games we all had it up in on the projector before our game so yeah we're all behind you back here and yeah good luck to you all 
Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, amazing. Well, thank you so much, Lauren, for joining us. Good luck as well in your upcoming series against Sri Lanka. We'll all be rooting for you as well. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thank Bye. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Oh. Brilliant. Well, it's so nice to have guests that join us um, on Zoom, but also it's nice when people get in touch on the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Do not forget it. We absolutely love to see them all coming in. And Jill, I get to throw it over to you. You've whittled them down. I, I was saying so many came in for Georgia. Well, we told everyone Georgia was coming on. So oh, wow. Well, look at all these. It's gone a bit crazy, to be <laughs> honest. So Mia C wants to know, if you could be in another Lioness's shoes for the day, who would you pick and why? Oh, that is a very, very... We had a similar question, question. didn't yeah. we? Yeah, I feel like you asked Coombsy, didn't you? Yeah. And I she mean, said Hempo. Who would you go for? I think I, I, I know who I'd go for. Who would you go for? <laughs> who would you go for? you pick a shoes to Yeah, in. yeah, 100% Lotta. She's just so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah like she's just, very cool, very creative. Just to be yeah. in that, that, the brain and kind of yeah. see the, have those drawing skills as well. I'd love yeah, that Yeah, very day. true. Yeah. I also think Lucy could be up there because sometimes I think, wow, what goes on in Lucy's head is... It was Hempel it... that said Lucy. Yeah. yeah, oh, was it? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes I do think what's going on in her head and she's always in important conversations, so sometimes <laughs> I'd like to know that side of it. But Hempel said what's going on in Lucy's head. I'm like, people would want to know what was going on <laughs> yeah. in <laughs> Hempel said. Well. I don't think much goes on in... <laughs> But she's all like she's like a space kid. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's yeah, move on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So JC wanted me to ask you if you could choose to play with one legendary lionesses player, who would it be? Oh. Do you know what? I've got two in that. Go on. I'm gonna say Farrah Williams. Yes. Of course. Because yeah, I never got the chance to play with her and growing up she was always like one of my idols and somebody that I always looked up to from a young age. I got a shirt when I was like 13, 14 years oh, old. Um, and yeah, always wanted to yeah play with her. And Kelly Smith. Yeah. I think, yeah, goal scorer. Yeah. What a midfield that would be. I know, yeah. Farrah, <laughs> Georgia and Kelly Smith. Oh, I wouldn't God. get in the team. <laughs> <laughs> right, Abby wanted to ask, what's something about Germany that really took you by surprise when you moved? Ooh. Okay, this is going to sound like a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. Is I think our perceptions of German people, and they're so much nicer than I thought. <laughs> I didn't in, know like, how to put that nicely. No, I didn't know how to put that. <laughs> but as in, like, they're so open and they're so emotional. And, yeah. yeah, that's something that I really liked is just how in touch with their emotions and feelings. And, yeah, they'll talk about anything and they're just so open to improving you as a person. Oh, interesting. Love that. Jess has a great question. If you had to do just one of these, would you skydive, bungee jump or shark cage dive? Oh, I don't know if I'd do any to be honest. Yeah, yeah. One that you would enjoy. What would I you reckon think? a skydive would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've actually got one for now. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of skydive, <laughs> what would you choose, Kyle? Uh, skydive, 100%. I yeah. wanted to um, do one whilst I was here in Australia. The producer said, no, nope, uh, we need you for the show, so okay. you're not allowed. Not in the contract. No. I was allowed, though. I've done two more. Yeah. <laughs> and Ethan on Instagram wants to know, are you not sick of beans on toast yet? Do you know what? I've kind of changed it up a little bit this tournament. Is the beans were not quite hitting the point. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they weren't satisfying me. So I've gone for dippy eggs and soldiers. I love that. Yeah. It's one of my favourite meals. I mean, I'm... What, what's a goalkeeper's favourite snack? I don't know, Jill. Beans on post. You get it? <laughs> I do get it. Yeah, I do. I hate you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's move on then. People have been using the hashtag, but so many people have been sending uh, messages in today for Georgia as well. There's lots of love coming in, but Georgia, there's one that I wanted to show you because it comes from a familiar face. Gee, hello. I love you. I miss you. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am of you and the girls uh, that you been so humble you've gone about your business so so quietly and now all of a sudden you're in a semi-final of everything to play for so yeah i can't tell you how much i wish i was there with you but for now i'm your biggest fan and i can't wait to watch wednesday so let's get into another final killer well 
We both got to see you at the quarterfinal, didn't we? We did, yeah. Are you missing Leah? Yeah. Do you know what? It's actually really hard to watch that because I know how much she would love to be in this situation and love to be here with us. And yeah, yeah as much as she wants to come and support us, you and like completely understand how difficult it is for her to watch because she would want to be here, sat on the sofa any yeah. day. And it means that you get stuck with Kira. Yeah. yeah. I think Kira's sick of both of us. <laughs> she's gone with Kit Man now, so I think she's had enough of us too. Um, but yeah, I just hope that we get the opportunity, the three of us, to yeah go to another major tournament and make some memories. Oh, sure it's definitely will. going to happen. It will, it will. Right, we've got another random question for you. You've done this before and yep. we've kept it, all right? You can't blame us for these questions. <clears throat> it's from your teammates. They are anonymous. I want to remind you of the last one. Pick one, though. All right, last time you got quite a deep question. Are oh, you going for the top? All right. Is there left? Uh, is there? What will matter to you the most when you're 80 years old? That's what you were asked last time. Let's open oh, I it up. Open it, don't I? I can uh, read it through the paper, actually. Uh, <laughs> can you? All right, what, let's see what this one says. It was deep last time. Let's. I hope it's light hearted. What was today. that answer? Was uh, family? family yeah. yeah. Hey, it's from you. I hope you've not licked it. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually from me? Yeah. Congratulations. Right. You are a winner. You have won a one-hour motivational speech from Jill. <laughs> Is can, I, can I just say, I did not put that in there. <laughs> I do not want that. That's it. That, that flew over there. See if you've got a smiley face, I can see it. Wow. Uh, oh. No, you're not taking that? No. No, OK. Somebody else okay. can take it. Someone would take that, I reckon. I'll have it. Yeah. I'll take I'll, it. I'll motivate Carl for the next show. No, I'll no. have a poem, but not a one-hour motivational oh, speech. Oh, don't, gosh. I'll swap it for a poem. <laughs> yeah. Right, what's the question say? OK, when did you first meet Jill? Oh, when did you, when did you I first... I didn't ask that, but go on. When did we first meet? When did we first meet? I'm trying Can to Do you think. not remember? I know. It's City. Yeah. Yeah. Was it when you just so you joined? Just when I joined, be 2015. Yeah, 15. After yeah. you'd come back from Canada. Yeah, what eight was years. That, what was that first training session like then for you, obviously? Because I, I remember you back then as well. I mean, I met you not, not too long after that when you just started at City, really. Yeah. And then, I mean, that first training session, though, you're training with people like Jill, like legends, and you are. I, I, we always joke, but you are. Just come back from the World Cup, that must have been exciting, daunting. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of both. I was just a kid at the time. I think I was 16 when I came to City and you had just come back from the 2015 World Cup, which I'd been watching on TV. And yeah, I think it was probably just a bit surreal. To be honest. I can't quite remember. Yeah. But it was, I think it was just surreal. I think I remember Georgia kind of, you think when a young kid comes and joins in that they're going to probably take it a little bit easy. But she was straight <laughs> in <laughs> with the tackles, straight in. But you know what? That's what I loved about you because I think... In midfield, you always need that grit, and I think you had that from day one. And it's so great to see you doing that now on the world stage, game in, game out. So thank yeah. you very much. I'm going to be serious with you for once. Thank oh, you. We'll like to have a bit of banter. Yeah. So Georgia, we said there's been so much love out there for you, and some more coming your way. We're joined by a lioness's legend, Any. How are you? It's actually nice to be able to see you because I've been talking to you. Through a lens <laughs> for the last however many weeks. Are you okay? I'm good, thank you. It's so wonderful to see you all. Oh, um, I don't know what to say. Is it good morning, good evening? It's like, <laughs> another day ahead, aren't you? Yeah, and, and we'll touch on that because, I mean, you're back in England covering the tournament. It's so good to have you on, by the way. Uh, but what stood out for you? What have you enjoyed most about this World Cup? Honestly, and I've said it on air, um, I'm just so impressed by the way the Lionesses have just found a way to win. Do you know what I mean? And, and it's in a tournament, obviously, if you want to win a World Cup, that's seven games. You can't play fantastically well in every game, but you can sort of find a way to win. Obviously, we've changed formation. Um, you know, we've had challenges. Leah, um, Lea, excuse me, um, Kira got, went down injured, you know, obviously Lauren's been suspended and there's just been so, there's been a lot of challenges. Serena's obviously humble enough to change the formation because, you know, there's a lot of coaches who are too stubborn to change. Um, but I think that, you know, I've just been so impressed. Everything that you want a team to be um, in terms of resilient, together, smart, 
um, I think the Lionesses have shown, and here we are, semi-final of a, of a World Cup. We say it so casually now, don't we? <laughs> and we need to touch on the fact that you've got a microphone <laughs> in your house. Can we just talk Jill, about this that? is my moment, girl. This is my moment. I had to come professional. <laughs> For interviews or karaoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> karaoke party at Annie's house I think but as you say any England in a semi-final things we we'll love to see how proud are you of this team and just how they're conducting themselves this tournament honestly uh, genuinely I was thinking about this the other day I would have loved to play it in this team you know I'm, I'm very I'm always very proud to have said you know obviously I played for England and you know Lioness but I look at this team I, I think I would have loved to have played in this team because it's just, like I said, you know, there's just everything that makes a great team a great team. You know, I love Serena. I would have loved to have played for her as well. And, you know, Georgia, I'm sure you can speak to this more. Like, she just looks like a coach that really just understands players, understands people. Um, you know, it looks like the squad, you know, even if people don't start, they look like they know their role. Um, they're happy to sort of um, understand the role in the squad and, like someone like Katie Zellum coming in, for example, you, you know, you know, Jill, when you come into a World Cup, you think, right, I'm going to probably be a starter. I'm going to come off the bench or I'm probably going to be a squad player that doesn't play. Yeah. Everybody needs to know their role and, and you kind of have to accept that, right? So, so for someone like Katie to go from, you know, probably not expecting to play to then start in a massive game and play in the way she did, I think that says everything about the culture of the team. Um, so yeah, I would have loved to play in this team. I really would have. I, I'm just, I, I can't speak highly enough of it. Like watching, um, it, it, it's brilliant to watch, you know, and you deserve, you deserve where you are, Georgia. Well done. Thank you very much. We're not a bad bunch, are we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just mentioned there you want, you'd like to play in this team, but you played in three World Cups yourself. You know what it's like. You've been on the world stage. You've been there. You've done it. What advice can you give to Georgia for these, these big moments? I mean, here we are. We've got a picture of you uh, playing in them as well. So what advice could you give? I don't know about giving Georgia advice. Georgia look, looks like she knows what she's doing. Um, <laughs> Listen, I, I would just say um, manage the moment, manage the pressure, you know, and it looks like you've been doing that really well. You know, the, the next game against Australia, it's going to be another different challenge. You're going to be the away team. Um, but, you know, I was listening to the show earlier. You can use that to your advantage as well. Um, and I think the Columbia game was good prep for that. You know, I remember back in 2015, we played Columbia and, you know, it was pretty intimidating. They were pretty loud then. Um, and our families were like in the corner, like, oh, hello, you know, like <laughs> a little bit intimidated. Um, but, you know, you've got to you've got to almost use that to your advantage. Um, and you you guys know how to do that. You don't need me to tell you. Um, but it's a semi-final of the, of the World Cup. There will be pressure moments. There'll be challenges. Australia obviously, you know, beat beat England earlier on in the year. So I think that We're sense of like them that. having <laughs> yeah, yeah but, you know, but that, psychologically don't let that get into your head do you know what yeah. I mean because they'll you they'll they'll be saying in their dressing room we've beat them before right but it's a different game it's a different moment um it's more pressure on them I'd say as a home nation so just managing pressure but you guys know how to do that yeah you played together so many times for England Jill what was Ellie like to play alongside this picture right here I mean <laughs> celebrating a goal there oh yeah I think that was a really Ellie must have scored yeah. Yeah. Score oh, it was me that scored last minute I yeah. assisted yeah yeah you did actually she did assist it was uh, the other way around but no it was great to play with any obviously it's no secret that I didn't have any pace when I played. So to always have any as an out, she would always be making runs in behind. And you know what? I remember any in um, 2009 Euros when she literally picked the ball up from kickoff halfway line, ran through the whole team and scored a goal. So she was just so quick and so tricky. So, yeah, it was an honour to play with her. And any, I couldn't have you here oh, without um, doing this and embarrassing Jill. I always like to do this. So come on. Any stories about Jill? What would she like to play with? Oh, Jill was an amazing teammate on, on the pitch. Um, you know, just like, I always used to think, what does she eat? You know, like, <laughs> does she ever get tired? You know, any chance she could, you know, because it's just an engine, like never, ever got tired. 
um you know never never cramped up where you know I I used to cramp up sometimes it's just like my muscles were so tight but Jill was just just going forever um so just an engine for the team and then off the pitch I mean I used to we used to have some belly laugh moments you know we just used to cry laughing um because we we shared we shared with each other for, for a little while um as roommates this is when we 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 used to share. Georgia, do you still share rooms or are you are you on your own now? Yeah, we're on our own now. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. it changed from, from, it from COVID, COVID yeah. yeah. It changed. I would have loved that. I would have I would have oh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to pretend I was ill just to get out of your room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is funny. No, we had a good time. We had a good time. Oh. Um, I, to be fair, I always feel sorry for Jill because I don't sleep very well. I'm, I'm a bit of a night owl. So there's times when Jill would wake up like with one eye, like, why are you still on your laptop? You know, and I'd, I'd be like, on my laptop with the light on. Oh, um, you so, could sleep sorry, through sorry, anything. Jill. Yeah, I could sleep. You could lie, like, and I bet you lie back with your mouth wide open. <laughs> right, so we'll move on because we haven't got much time left. So, any big question? Can England win the World Cup? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I said that before the tournament. Um, so I'm definitely sticking with it now in terms of uh, that prediction. So. Absolutely. I think we can we can beat Australia. It's going to be challenging. And then once you get to the final, I mean, yeah, it's uh, it is absolutely sure that I think we can win it. So good luck, Georgia. Thank Do, you very just much. Keep doing what you've been doing. It's been amazing. Um, have you played every minute? Um, you, every, you started every game, haven't you? Yeah, I got the a bit of a rest in the second half of the candy game uh, from the Shine again. Yeah. yeah, there you are. <laughs> yeah. Any... Well, um, yeah, good luck. Good luck. All the best to you. Thank Brilliant. you very much. Thank you. Any, thank you so much for joining us today on Lioness's Down Under. It's a pleasure to uh, have Thanks you on the me, show. Guys. Enjoy the match. See you soon. See you soon. Bye, Annie. Thank you. Just like the true professional Georgia Stanway is as well. Fingers in the ears. Yeah. You didn't want to hear that. One match at a time. You are yeah. a professional. We, we don't. We don't care about what's coming yeah. next. We're focused on the game. She put her finger in her ear, but we like she was pushing it in. Pushing it in even <laughs> was getting loud. Oh, like, oh. <laughs> but oh. True professional. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. So Georgia, as you were in the old studio last time on Lionesses Down Under, I know you were absolutely devastated that you didn't get to take on dum 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 the tower. Absolutely devastated. <laughs> You're going to give it a go on the right? Come on then. Oh, of course you are. Let's have a look though in the meantime at how the other Lionesses have done so far. Spoiler alert, I get blamed a lot. <laughs> right, let's get 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, go! Oh, go on, Lauren, you can't talk. I know, Come yeah. on, nice and quick. Yeah, you need to be quick. We've only had 10 seconds. Kyle, I'm not you appreciating your commentary. Have a little <laughs> feel around. I am trying, Jill. It's not easy. It's not easy. One's there. Oh, we my got God. Two at a time. Wow. Five, four, three. Get one more. Get one more. Get one more. Quick, quick, quick. Pull it. Ah! <laughs> you quick. said pull it. <laughs> Can you get another one? Another one. Quick, quick, quick. No! <laughs> 113 Woo! seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Go so on. scared right now. <laughs> right, so oh. Georgia, the rules are simple. You've got 30 seconds to build the tower as high as you can. <laughs> Tall you two. Everyone says <laughs> that one. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> so the gold ones are worth more points, okay? Some people have been tapping. Some people have been taken two at a time. You build it in twos. People don't listen to Jill and they start putting three so like down. Two that way and yeah. then two there that way. There you go. Right, your first one right. to get it straight off the bat. Let's have a quick look at the leaderboard because Hannah Hampton yesterday climbed to second spot, 109 centimetres, okay. 40 points, slow and steady. Just like Lauren Hemp as well, 109 centimetres, only 25 points with that. So you need a mixture. Neve Charles at the top doing two at a time. All right. Okay. The bottom doesn't look too... Uh, <laughs> some tumbled, as you saw in the video, blamed me. I'm not taking the blame for this one, Georgia, so do not tumble the tower. Okay. Feeling confident? I'm quite heavy-handed, so no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just go for it. I can Just see the comments it, already. Yeah. I can see them blaming me. Are you ready? Right, 30 that, seconds on oh, the clock. Okay. Oh, wow, she's getting into it straight away. Okay. Jill Scott. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go! Go on, Georgia. Straight in there. Two nice. Oh, okay. oh. That's good. 
Oh, she's got three. Where All did right, you get okay. that from? Try and get a go just go for high. Did go you pull that out of your pocket? Yeah, it was an You've accident. You've had ten seconds so far. There you go. You can cheat the outside ones Oh, as well. nice, nice, nice. Let's see if you can get some outside. Oh, Georgia, Georgia Stanway. Like, like that. You've got ten now. seconds to go. Quick what now. can you do? Hey, I'm trying. Come on, try and get two more. Two at a time. Can you do it? Five, four, three. three Come on, more. Two, Come on, I'll give it you a quick, quick, quick. One. quick. Pull it out. Yeah, she got that. She got that. Hey, they're a bit jammed in there, aren't they? We don't make it easy, Georgia. Come on. Right. So our height is 109. Right, 109. Again. I'm liking Wait, it. Do it again. 109. No, I think it was. It was. Don't worry. Like five, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, zero gold. So it's 20 points. Do you know what, then? You must have glued them gold in. One, oh. oh, wait there. She's still up there. Oh, right, yeah, you're up there. Because it goes on the height. Yeah, right. all right. There you go. Right, oh, nice. jump that straight into fourth right. spot. That looks all right. How are you feeling about that performance? Yeah, all right, to be honest. Are you sure? Yeah, they just seem a bit um, jam packed. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the producers then just yeah. to sand them down for you. Yeah, yeah? four just weeks in. Take, yeah, yeah. Just tell them to take the glue off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Georgia, this is just a little something to help you blow away the opposition tomorrow. Did you like that one? Sometimes she's you make me them. feel a bit sick. She's oh, loving them. I'm, I'm used loving to them. it now. Well, that's your lot for today. I'm your um, biggest fan. Georgia's <laughs> got a huge match to prepare for, but thank you so much, everyone in the studio. Georgia Stanway. <laughs> Woo! forget to send us your match reaction because we are taking a day off tomorrow we so are. remember you must know the hashtag by now yeah lionesses down under yeah we'll be back on thursday 12 30 as usual and of course you can find us on youtube facebook instagram twitter and tiktok we will see you there yeah and we also have some messages yeah we do to take us out of the show including who david beckham oh we'll leave you with that handsome man <laughs> Hi Lionesses, just wanted to say good luck again ahead of your semi-final. Every single challenge that's been put in front of you so far, you've overcome with character, resilience, with fight, with such passion. Keep it going. Those scenes we saw last summer, you are making that happen again. Trust me, here back home, we're all supporting you and we're willing you on. Become that special group of players that gets us further in a World Cup than we've ever been before. We believe in you, you can do it. Come on! Just want to say a massive good luck to the Lionesses. Really hope you can bring it home. We're all massively proud of you. We're all rooting for you. Good luck. Hey Lionesses, it's Denise Lewis here. And I know you've got a big, big match coming up. Back in Stadium Australia. Now, do you know the connection between what you're about to do what I did some 23 years ago. That's right. You came away with the big G, but you are going to come out with the victory. I believe in you. The rest of the country believes in you. So let's get it. Hello, Lionesses. It's Claire Balding here. I just wanted to drop in and say good luck. Honestly, what a fantastic job you've been doing. Play with all of that heart and that passion. Keep smiling. Enjoy it. What a momentous occasion it's going to be against Australia. And just go for it, hey? Good luck. Hey girls, um, I just wanted to say, wow, what a tournament it's been so far. It's been so much fun uh, to watch and we're all so proud. As a nation, what you've achieved already, but um, seeing you girls play as a team, uh, it's been really incredible. So continue to do so. Good luck in this next game and just know that our whole nation is behind you as always and uh, good luck. There's Harper. Keep inspiring these girls because it's uh, incredible to watch and I'm very, very happy that you're doing it for this one. Good luck, girls. Uh, and he was good. Mm.